Lake. The road soon degenerates into a mere track in the rubble strewn wilderness and with Koksa, the last inhabited village, well behind us, we are truly on our own. The Chandra executes a sharp turn past the Bara Shigri Massive. The Chandra here is a different creature, untamed and wild, swollen with the meltwaters of the gigantic Bara Shigri Glacier. Grey at a time of the year when all other rivers and streams are blue. Keeping company with the torrent is the wind. The region around Batal is sited at the mouth of the gigantic Bara Shigri Glacier. The glacial winds starting up like clockwork at around midday. For its altitude, the lowly 11,000 feet, Batal is probably the windiest place in the Himalayas. So at 50 bucks a night, we have a place to park ourselves and our sleeping bags, while the wind howls outside and the shadows lengthen over the tortured landscape. A few kilometers further, it's like a comic book track winding up the mountain. But there's nothing funny about the workout our shock observers are getting. So shaken and stirred, we make it to Chandratal, a heavenly turquoise mirage set amidst the trans-Himalayan barrenness. Ripple turns out to be very organized. He's actually carried swimming trunks and he reaps the reward. How's it, Ripple? No! How's it, Ripple? Jimmy. Wow. Water is really nice. Though. Nice, huh? by high peaks, the turquoise waters of the Chandatal occupy a glacial depression. An outlet ensures that the waters are not salty or brackish. Yeah. The landscape is so exciting. Yeah. That's the Mulkula Massif. Okay. And here's the Chandabhaga Massif. Okay. The peaks in the Chandrabhaga Massif are so many yeah, that they don't have names. Yeah. They're just numbered, CB1, CB2, and so on. And that's the Chandra River, stepping through the two massifs and flowing towards the Bhaga. Okay. There's a lovely lake. Mm -hmm. There's the Kunzum Pass, which leads into the Spiti Valley. Yeah. The landscape feels so exciting. It, I'm waiting to see your panoramic shot. Well, that'll take a little time, but this is fantastic. Look at the view. You know, there's a Laholi legend. Yeah. That Mulkila is home to a demoness. I think she stays behind that somewhere, you know, behind that glacier. Ah. Yeah. You can see her, can you? I can't, man. We might have to go there to do that. Would you like to come? As the sun moves through the sky, the appearance of the lake also keeps constantly changing. We are reluctant to leave, but the thought of doing the road back to Batal in the dark was enough to spur us on. So it's back down along the Chandra as it comes.